Hey guys, I'm Mithilis and welcome back to Freak Mosa. And yes, finally I gathered some courage to come in front of the camera. Anyway, in today's video, we will be creating a product animation inside of After Effects. Also, there will be some cool techniques regarding the text animation, also the background animation. I got the idea from the invert elements and I thought I should make a video on that. So, without wasting any more time, let's jump into After Effects and let's get started. Alright, I already created a composition with the standard settings. First, create the aura ball and it's really simple. Just create a new composition, take the ellipse tool and create a circle. Center the anchor point, press B to open the position, hold Alt or Option and click on the stopwatch icon to add an expression. And type wiggle 1, 100 inside the bracket. By doing this, it will keep moving till the end of the timeline. Now just select the layer and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. Then change the position, also change the color. Make multiple copies of that and change their color, size and position randomly. Try to use some bright colors so it pops out on the background. I think these are enough. Let's create a new adjustment layer. Now go to the effects and presets and search for Gaussian Blur. Apply that on the adjustment layer and change the blurriness value to near about 120. Now select all the layers and pre-compose them. Give it a name you like. We need one more circle here. Align the anchor point to the center. Also place the circle to the center of the composition. You can place the layer at the bottom. Now go to effects and presets and search for set mat. Apply it to the composition layer and change the mat layer to shape layer. Now go to main product composition and bring the aura layer to the timeline. Now we will animate it later. Let's add our text. For the text animation, I will use animator properties only. I already made a detailed video on the same topic. You can click on the I button to watch that. Alright, now open the layer, click on this animate button and add position property. First change the position something like that. Open range selector 1. Go to first frame and add a keyframe on the offset and change its value to minus 100. Then go forward to 2 seconds and change its value to 100. Open advanced option, change the shape to damper and based on to words or lines, anything you like. Change both these value to 100%. Click on this add button and add opacity property here and turn down the opacity value to 0. One by one lines looks much better. Close the animator one and click on the animate button again and add another position property. Make sure it comes under a separate animator. Now change the position something like this. It is the final position of the text. So place it wherever you want. Once you've done, open range selector 1 and on the 2 second, add a keyframe on the offset and change its value to minus 100. Go forward to 2 more seconds and change its value to 100. Open advanced option and change the shape to ramp down. Change both these value to 100%. Also change the base down to lines. And your text animation is done. If this seems complex, check out the video on the I button. Now let's animate the aura one. We will do the simple scale up animation here. For that, just add a keyframe on the scale. Also add a keyframe on the opacity as well. Then go back to first frame and change its value to low value or maybe zero. Then adjust the keyframe like this. Then easy is the scale value. Open the graph editor and change the curve something like this. Now, when the text going towards the left side, the aura ball should come towards the right side, where our product should appear. Like this. Adjust the keyframes and the timings. Also easy is them. And change the graph curve something like this. Let's add a product on the timeline. Adjust the scale level according to your need.
here convert the layer to a 3d layer for the product now open position property scale property and rotation property once you place your product properly add a keyframe on the position scale and y rotation then come back to 20 frames and change rotation value to 60 degree and position something like that towards the right side also reduce the scale value a little bit adjust the keyframes if needed easy is the keyframes and change the curve something like this or you can use another way to reveal your product add a solid layer for the background let's call it bg on the layer add a effect called four color gradient Choose the colors you like. You can add glow effect on the aura wall. I am using deep glow effect here. But you can use normal glow effect as well. Also change the blending mode of the text to overlay. If you want to make your background more dynamic, you can add expression on these color points. Just hold Alt and click on the stopwatch icon to add the expressions. Then just type wiggle 2 comma 100. Copy the expression and paste it on the point 4 as well. Add the logo. Also you can add some subtext if you want, like I did it in the preview and your product animation is done. So this is all for today. This is the first time I'm coming in front of the camera and this makes me very nervous. And and one more thing, I will be try to more consistent, but it's really hard for me to manage all the things by myself. But if you like the video, it will keep me motivated to make more like this. So this is all for today. See you guys in the next one. Till then have fun and stay safe guys. Bye.